Tonight we are here to see the Whirling Dervishes. We've read a lot about this event and so we are excited to see what it's all about. So we're here at the theater and we're about to go in. Wherever you are and whatever you do, be in love. Rumi. Lessons on life, love, and spiritual enlightenment seem to be a universal quest. Coming to Turkey, we naturally had heard of the whirling dervishes, but it was fascinating to learn that this was not just a performance, but in fact a religious ceremony that has been performed since 1273. The whirling dervishes are part of the Sufi branch of Islam. They focus on the reunification of worldly things, purification of the soul, and the mystical contemplation of God's nature. Learning about the history of the whirling dervishes leads you straight to the world-renowned poet of the 13th century, Rumi. His works have been translated and spread throughout the world and the center around the philosophy of love. As for the whirling dervishes, we went to see our performance at the Hoja Pasha Cultural Center in the heart of Istanbul. The Cultural Center is a refurbished hammam and the performance happens in a gorgeous round room where everyone has a fantastic view of the round stage. The ceremony begins with prayers, meditation, and traditional music that is almost hypnotic as the dervishes enter. A traditional wooden flute plays a melody that symbolizes man's desire for mystic union with God. One by one, they begin spinning and the dance begins. Rumi once said, there are many roads which lead to God. I have chosen the one of dance and music. Whirling was a sacred form of meditation through a static dance. As the dervishes whirl, it represents the rotation of the universe in the presence of God. As they spin, the right hand is held open and up as to receive grace from the beloved, while the left hand faces downward towards the earth to give that grace and light to the world. Their hats represent the tombstones of their egos, and as the ceremony progresses, they shed their shaws representing leaving their egos behind. Each dance consists of three stages. The first is the knowledge of God, the second is the seeing of God, and the third is the union with God. Dervish means doorway, and the dance is believed to be a mystical portal between the earthly and cosmic worlds. Shelley and I really enjoyed the performance or the ceremony of the Whirling Dervishes tonight. The cultural center here is absolutely gorgeous. Upstairs, once you get upstairs, they have this beautiful display with all the information about the dervishes. It's so well presented. And the ceremony itself was gorgeous. The music played throughout the entire ceremony. It almost got you into this, this zone. And then, of course, the repetition and the swirling of the, the actual ceremony itself was really an experience. Afterwards, the Cultural Center has a beautiful display that gives a lot of history to the ceremony and shows many artifacts, which had us both intrigued. I never knew the connection to Rumi, whose poems I had previously read and admired. What was his story? As if the universe heard my inner thoughts, I later found the book The 40 Rules of Love by Turkish author Alif Shafak. It is a story that spins a fictional tale of two parallel stories of love, one of a modern-day woman in the United States, and the other of the historical connection of Rumi finding his soulmate, mentor, and companion, the wandering dervish, Shams of Tabiz. Shams talks to God and sees God in every corner of the world, through everyone he meets. He has the 40 rules of love to share with the world. His non-conventional views transform the way Rumi sees the world as well. The author does an amazing job of humanizing these historical characters and you begin to see life through each narrator's eyes as they search for enlightenment and love. No journey is easy and there are great costs paid for finding and living an authentic life as each character moves towards their destiny. As Rumi once said, the universe is not outside of you. Look inside yourself. Everything that you want, you already are.